So now you've collected survey responses and have some good data. What next? You need to find a way to interpret the data, especially if some of the answers are different. What you want to find is an overall trend for activity in the sector. So how do you reconcile the data if some respondents said activity was up and some said it was down? One way to do that is to create a diffusion index. What that's going to do is take the answers you received and convert it to a number. So let's do the math. In our example, the first thing that you do is add up the number of survey responses. So you have nine people that answered activity was up, 12 answered there was no change in economic activity, and five said that activity was down. That's a total of 26. So the first thing you'll do is calculate each of those categories as a percentage. So you want to know the percentage of respondents that said activity was up. You're going to take the 9, divide it by the 26, and multiply by 100. That's 35%. Do the same for the other two categories. Your percents will total to 100. Now we're going to calculate the diffusion index. What we want to do is take the percentage of respondents that answered up and subtract the percentage that answered down and then add 100. In our example, 35% of our respondents said up. Now we're going to subtract the 19% that said down. That gives us an answer of 16. Now we're going to add 100 to that. So 116 is our diffusion index. So 100 is a baseline. If your answer is 100, that means no change, or the ups and downs offset each other. If your index number is greater than 100, it indicates an expansion. More people said up than down. If your index number is less than 100, that indicates a contraction, or more people said down than said up. So once you have your diffusion index, you know the direction of activity. Now you have to decide on the magnitude, or how much did conditions improve or worsen? How far away is the index number from 100? Let's say that the index number was just slightly different than 100, plus or minus 5. We might describe that as basically unchanged or fairly steady. However, if your index number is higher or lower than that, it's a stronger change. So the higher or lower the number is from 100, the stronger the change. For example, you may characterize an index number of 120 as rose substantially. You might describe an index number of 80 as fell sharply. You will also want to look at the relationships between the questions or your data. If sales were up substantially, then you might expect inventories to have gone down. That would make sense if people are selling more items. So good luck constructing your diffusion index and seeing what the data tells you about the local economy.